drop her drawers. Yeah, she leaving. She ready to drop her drawers. Drop her drawers. I got your life in my hands. Watch how I put it in pause. pause. I did this shit with no. I was good, y'all, man. It's your boy Dior, and I'm back for another video. As y'all can see from the title, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We got another car video, man. And I've been going crazy. I know y'all boys been seeing the work, man. I just be, I just be grinding. Like, I really be grinding for real, for real, man. Wake up, film a video. I got five channels, y'all boy. So I really can't even, well, I ain't gonna say can't. Cause I've been getting over here every day recently, man. Or filming three, four vids a day for y'all. So we could be up for real. I'm trying to get on my, my grind for real, four vids a day, or at least two to three. You know what I'm saying? I got other channels I'm working on. If I ain't had them other channels, I swear it'd be like six videos a day over here with y'all boys. To be honest with y'all. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. If you're new to the video, make sure you drop a like. I love y'all. Let's get into it. All right, so how to get a female wet in five minutes. How to get her dropping her drawers in five minutes. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we already know what we talked about last video, so I'm going to try not to repeat none of that stuff, but... Y'all gotta remember that shit still applies. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta do that. Do those do those methods and use those tips, man. Like I say, physical appearance. Females love that. Y'all niggas, what cologne y'all niggas wearing? Female, that's like my go-to. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's that's like one of my number one things. Like, females love a nigga that smell good. He groomed, got a good physical appearance. And you, like I told y'all, you gotta go to the gym. Like, they love physical appearance to the max. Like, they love a nigga that look good, smell good, for sure. Like, yeah, if you smell good, you, you walk up and get shot of your hood, it's y'all first link. She like, damn, this nigga smell good. Like, she gonna get horny right then. You know what I'm saying? She getting horny right then. She probably dropping the drawers after the date. You just never know, my boy. Not to say your intentions got to be the hit on the first day. It just you gotta know what you just gotta know what the vibe's gonna be at and what's going on for it. Like having the right cologne gonna really put you on with females. Like they love that shit. Like I'm living proof. Like that's why I make sure every time when I before or after the shower, like before before the date. Right when you got the shower before the date, put it on your neck, your wrist, rub it on you. Make sure it make sure it's on your shirt, jacket. They love that shit. When you give them a hug, they mmm, this nigga smell good. Like I'm already fucking with him. And you ain't even said 10 words yet. That's some free game, free sauce for y'all right there. Next thing we we going with. And like I said, it's about how you touch a female. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna fast things up. Let's just say you've been big, you've been talking to this female, right? You, you don't got to know her. You know what she like, you know what she like to do. Y'all probably done chill once already. Let's just say you for you might be finna take on a date, right? Alright. Y'all done y'all done went out to eat. Y'all done had a little fun, y'all done went out to eat, really talked, and y'all probably been talking for a month. You know what I'm saying? You like, damn, I really wanna take it to the next level and shit, right? And she really fucking with you. Like, she she exerting energy. You being assertive. You showing your masculine energy, right? Showing her your masculine side. Females love a nigga that's masculine and assertive. Like, you, you got to take what you want. And you got to let her know exactly what you want. And lead her. Females don't like to be led, bro. I mean, females don't like to lead. They like to be led. Let me say that again. Females don't like to be, they don't like to lead, they like to be led. Because when they feel like they got a lead, bro, then they just shows you not masculine. Or at least they think you're not masculine. Now, don't get mad at me. They think you're not masculine, bro. And if you, you presume to be blue pill, then you got to cross over the red. You, you got to get masculine. You got to get cold. You got to get hard. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of y'all niggas going to learn. Like, the only way a lot of y'all gonna be able to cross over is if y'all watching all my videos, bro. Soaking up all the game. Or if you ain't watching my videos, you need to be watching somebody else's videos. You need to be doing something. You need to be in somebody's gym. 
You need to be trying to start some type of business, trying to get some type of motion. Sitting in the house, wasting your time, going going to parties, drinking all day, every day, or smoking weed with niggas that's not getting no paper, it's not gonna get you no motion. And it's not gonna get you no females. So what you doing? You know what I'm saying? You click on this video because you wanna know how to get a girl wet in five minutes. So you need to do what the fuck I tell you to do. You know what I'm saying? But you you gotta you gotta stimulate her, bro. You gotta stimulate the mind. Like you really gotta stimulate her mind. But let me continue. Yeah, I done went on a date, had fun, you done spent a little money on her. You know what I'm saying? Took on a good date. You, you done you done talk to her. You done provided some value emotionally and mentally. That's the most important thing. You got to provide that value to give her a reason to come back. Don't don't be sending her no, don't be sending her no no news, none of that. Like don't do none of that. Some females find that shit weird. Don't do it unless she asks for it or unless she lets you know that she want to find out about the size of the package. Like I say, don't force no vibes. The next thing, let's say y'all go home or y'all talking in the car. It's your chance to make your move, bro. Whether you want to kiss her, kiss her neck, grab her by the neck. Females love that shit. Like, they love an aggressive nigga. By all means, do not be scared, bro. But only do these, the only, um, only use these assertive moves and strategies when y'all build up the sexual tension and you know that she done engaged in sexual conversations with you and all of that. Like this, this like one of the top tier moves right here. Like you gotta grab Shotty by her neck while you talking to her, talking her ear. You know what I'm saying? Like grab her by the neck. Like you, you like when I grab you like that, huh? You, you like you like when a nigga talk to you like this and rub on you like that. You like getting rubbed on, don't you? Then lick your lips at him. No, no homo to the niggas watching this. I'm just trying to get you out of the game, bro. Like. Yeah, like, you, you like that shit, don't you? And you, you just choking her, or you stroking her hair. You know what I'm saying? If you want to kiss her, don't don't wait for her to be like, I want to kiss, or don't ask her, do you want to kiss? Just grab her, bro. Just grab her by the neck. Pull her in and try to kiss her, bro. If she going to reject you, she going to pull her back. Don't be scared of getting rejected. But like I say, nine times out of ten, it's going to work every time. The grabbing by the throat, kissing her, going to work every time. Especially, like I say, she done engaged in sexual conversations like whenever y'all talk on the phone, on FaceTime, or iMessage, woo -woo Instagram, sending each other freaky posts, little freak memes. Yeah, bro, I know I know about all of it, you know what I'm saying? You, you in the game if she already done engaged in all of this shit, right? So, okay, y'all in the car after the, after the little movie date or after the um, dinner date. Y'all in the car just talking and you kissing on her. While you kissing on her, like I said, you wanna you wanna be touching her too. Like females love to be touched. They got they got certain spots they love to be touched. Like they like it when you kiss their neck. Uh, they, they like it when you choking them and kissing on them. When you, you lick their neck. Uh, what else? Slide your hand down there to the you know what I'm saying. Slide your hand down there love foreplay like females love foreplay you can't keep you can't keep the cat wet if y'all niggas not using the floor, foreplay right from my from what i know a lot of niggas be just jumping straight like they might kiss you a few times and then try to try to go ahead and fuck from there like no don't do that like that's the easiest way to to turn a female off or she not even gonna be turned on all the way you want to make sure you get her real wet and dripping so she can stay wet and she going to be even hornier. When she even hornier, like, she going to be real nasty, my boy. And I know y'all love the freaks. Like, me personally, I, I love the freaks. I don't want her unless she nasty. You know what I'm saying? So you touching on her, you you really using that foreplay. Because nowadays, y'all niggas know females be having vibrators and all type of toys and shit nowadays. So it's like, if you can't compete with a vibrator and shit, then she ain't got no use for you. She don't got no use for you. Right? 
So me, I'm the type of nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't get offended if females got vibrators and shit beforehand, before like, I get to them. Cause I, I like the tag team that, I like the tag team that with the vibrator, you know what I'm saying, while I'm in it. Or while I'm playing with it, I tag team it with the vibrator. Cause these girls, they want you to make them come. They want you to make them squirt and all that, man. So you feel me? So if, you, if you really want to get her there, like you really got to know how to talk to her beforehand, like before the date and shit, you really got to really put the game on her and really talk dirty to her. Like shit, females love that dirty talk. And when you talk dirty to them, they see that you're not scared. You exerting masculinity. You don't care what nobody thinks. You don't care what she thinks. You don't care what her friends think from the group chat. You don't care about none of that shit. You just doing what you want to do because you know what you want. And if that's her, let make sure she know that. And make sure she know how you coming for real. Because when she know how you coming, my boy, it's going to be water part, water part all night long for you. Hey, don't, don't say I, don't say I told you how to do it, but I say, man, y'all boys, make sure y'all watching all the videos, man. Like, I'm really going crazy. Ooh, I'm going to try to go three, four videos a day some days. But most days, it might probably be one or two at the least. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't taking no days off like that. But hey, I had to make these videos because nobody... I ain't going to say nobody ain't make these videos, but nobody ain't make this video right here. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and run this up for my boy, for me, for your boy. And um, go ahead and get this to... Um, just give me 100, 200 likes, man. I just made this channel. So go ahead and just run me up 100, 200 likes. Show me y'all really fucking with it and watch all the way through. You know what I'm saying? But I know y'all be fucking with these little scenarios that I give y'all. I got hella story times, bro. Like, I got a story time I still got to drop. But I can't get one of the clips off my phone. Like, when I had did the story time, I had recorded on my camera. And I recorded another angle off my phone. And I was going to edit both of them together so you can see from different perspectives while I'm like while I was talking and smoking but I'm, I'm gonna get that for y'all sooner or later but hey y'all that, that foreplay gonna get you in there like if she wet before like when you put your hand down and she already like wet like you been playing with her shit boy you, you been talking her head out like she just she couldn't take it like she just started dripping everywhere you know what I'm saying that's how you want her to be you don't wanna Put your hand down there and it's dry as a desert. And it feel like a cactus down there. You don't want that, bro. You want that shit to already be... You want that shit to already be, like, dripping and gushing everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want that shit to be dripping air goddamn. We're like, God damn. I, I need my life vest. I'm about to goddamn go... Sw I'm about to take me a swim. I'm about to go swimming in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Feel like I'm in the ocean. I need my life jacket. Make sure I don't drown in this motherfucker. But hell yeah, y'all. Um, any other tips I could probably give y'all about how to get her wet in five minutes? I really done told y'all everything. You just gotta put it all together and apply it when necessary or what you think is appropriate for that situation. Cause I don't know what type of females y'all be dating. And like I said, every female different. So you just got to go with your best judgment, to be honest. Just make sure you're not being desperate and thirsty over the sex. Like, make her make her come to you. You can, um, you can start up a sexual conversation or something with a female. Like, they love that shit. They ain't going to decline it. But if you know you don't know this female for real yet, don't, like, don't be in a hurry to start no sexual conversation. Because that's a quick turn off for them talking about sex it's a lot a lot of niggas already done messed it up for us when they kind of linking with females like just because you say something about linking most females are already getting into the mindset of niggas that's desperate and thirsty thinking that you just trying to fuck like they done fucked it up i even done told a female that like damn like i'm not even trying to fuck i'm really just on some chill shit trying to get to know you but they so fucked up in the head from niggas that, that mess it up for us that they don't even know what to assume from most niggas. Like, they just think every nigga after the same thing, which is true. A lot of niggas do be after the same thing, but not 100%. So they, they got to, you, you got you to be different, bro. You can't be just like these other niggas sliding up, heart, and eye, heart eyes, 
begging, being desperate, steady blowing up the girl phone. Like, if you already tried to link with this female one time and she ain't say nothing, bro, like, just move on, let it go. She obviously got better options, which is most likely. Or she either don't want to link with you for whatever reason, or she just might not find you attractive, or you just might be ugly, bro. Like, it's, it's a whole bunch of things that it could be. So I can't, like, tell y'all unless y'all hit me up on um, Instagram with some messages. Show me a screenshot of a message, a few messages with you and your crush or you and the girl you're trying to get or a girl that you just got done with. I'll tell you where you went wrong or I'll tell you what you need to say or how you should go about it. I really don't want to tell y'all niggas exactly what to say, but I'll tell y'all, like, how you should be thinking to overcome the situation or, like, how to get the girl... And yo, how to get the girl in your ballpark? How to get her wanting you more? I already be dropping secrets on how to raise up toxic rears and tips. Cause them shits work, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like them shits really work for real, for real. Like, nah, I get, I give you all the game. All you gotta do is use it at this point. Like, you could lead a horse to the to the water, but you can't make it drink. I know y'all heard that before. Like, at this point, y'all just got to use the shit that I'm telling y'all and put it to use. Like, females really, they just really want an assertive man that's masculine, that is, that's assertive, and he take what he want. He dominant, aggressive, real aggressive. Like, they love aggressive niggas. You got to even be an asshole sometimes. Females might, they might tell you they like nice guys, but bro. Females, like, they, you can't trust what they say. Like, you got to go off the choosing signals. They really just, like I said, they, they want a bad boy, a nigga that's going to make them act up for it. That's what they love. Like, they, they want to have fun. They want to be excited. That's why, why y'all think a lot of females cheat on their nigga? They be like, they cheat on their nigga because they be bored, which is true. They nigga not, he not toxic enough. He not keeping her excited. He not getting her wet fast enough. He not talking to her dirty like, like he should. That's why they come looking for other niggas. Cheat with a boyfriend with. Be the nigga that she cheats on that she cheats with. Not the nigga that she cheat on. You know what I'm saying? Be the nigga that she cheats on her nigga with. Not the one that she cheats on. Simple as that. It's so simple. I'm finna get y'all niggas right, bro. I swear to God, I'm gonna get y'all right on oh, God. I'm finna drop this shit on y'all for real, for real. Three videos a day type shit. Especially when I ain't got shit to do. I'm about to goddamn just vlog, man. I love to do this shit. I love to help people. I love to change lives. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all niggas sub up, man. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all niggas in the next video. We gone. I'll tear it up in the hood, chains on. Funds on like let's tear when that beam on. Ride strike quick to find a nigga like Nemo. All I gotta do is rap and come and put the team on. I ain't played one NBA game and got rings on. I'm still getting.